Hello and welcome back to Saving Scunthorpe and we are going to Wembley. So I had recorded the playoff semi-finals against Bolton. However, due to recording a TEW video, once again I forgot to change the thing back. So we've ended up accidentally missing that those games. However, in the first game against Bolton, we had a 0-0 draw. Sonny Perkins got sent off in the 30th minute, but we managed to see the game out with a 0-0 draw away from home. So if you're happy to hear about that, please do leave a like down below. And if you're happy to hear that we then won 5-0 in the second game, then comment your prediction for the game at Wembley against Lincoln. We'll go through and have a quick look at the goals in that game. So we started off just with a penalty from Lewis into the right-hand side of the goal. Lovely start. And then we had Curry playing the ball forward to Tezgel. He actually gets tackled, but Curry gets the ball back, puts it in the bottom corner, and shows why he started ahead of McAllister. Next up, we had Lewis playing the ball down the left-hand side, finding Goldsmith in behind, who puts it on a plate for Tezgel. That was 3-0. And at this point, the game was over. Lewis sends a cross in. Nalo heads it in. That's four. We're only 55 minutes in. And then we get another penalty. Tezgel puts it in the top corner. And yeah, completely dominant performance against Bolton. You love to see it. Subscribe if you're happy to hear about that result. And let's go and head to Wembley, where we are playing Lincoln City. So we do have Izagire back for this game, just about. He's not really fit. But we're going to play him anyway. We've got Bree, So, Nalo and Lewis as the back four. Kaluda and Russell Denny in holding midfield. Curry on the right. Chambers on the left. Goldsmith in behind Tezgel up front. We have a throw in very early on. Lewis throws the ball to Goldsmith. And then he nearly gets tackled by our old player, Yaren Gore. Nalo gets the ball, finds Russell Denny. Ball in behind to Chambers, who's one on one with the keeper. Puts us 1-0 up. A fantastic start at Wembley. 1-0 to Scunthorpe and 89 minutes away from the championship. Bree with a free kick from deep. Finds Curry who brings it down really well. Russell Denny shoots from range. He hits the bar. Yarangoye clears it away and it's found Kamara but the highlight ends. Kamara with a throw in on the left hand side for Lincoln. Tojo turns and crosses it in. Smith with the header is Aguirre with a very impressive save particularly given that he has currently got a broken hand and it's going to be a Corner kick, Sorensen to send it in for Lincoln. It's towards the far post. So heads it up in the air and it's headed back towards us, but Izagire with the save. Bree with a corner kick from the left-hand side. And unfortunately, it's straight into the hands of the Lincoln goalkeeper, Tor. And he is going to drop it on the floor and then kick it out towards Kamara. Kaluda wins that header and Curry collects it from him. But Kaluda, uh, Curry, even, not Kaluda, loses it very cheaply ball, ball to Diara Tojo down the wing to Kamara chance for a cross here plays it back to Holub he gets the cross in Jenkins is there oh that's a huge miss well despite having a 1-0 lead Lincoln are getting a lot of chances in this game so we need to have a look at what we're doing to try and prevent them getting so many chances during this game we're going to try pushing our defensive line up a little bit hopefully that will help us with making sure we close them down a little bit more and prevent their chance creation. Lewis with the throw in finds Chambers and he gets it back to Russell Denny and back to Nalo, who's got quite a bit of space here, plays it back to So. And he finds Kaluda, finds Russell Denny to Goldsmith, knocks it on to Curry, who cuts inside. Great chance, Curry makes it 2 0. And hopefully, that is the goal that sends us to the championship. Kamara with a throw in for Lincoln. Tojo gets it back to Kamara. Ball in towards Jenkins, but it's headed away by So. Only as far as Smith, who turns his man, gets a cross in towards Tojo, and he heads it over the bar. Pat Curry has picked up a injury, so we're going to bring McAllister on for him. And at the same time, we're going to bring Hatton on for Tezgel. I was just about to go and make a couple of subs. I probably wasn't bringing Curry off, but that's obviously being forced. But we'll just do those two changes. Jenkins with a corner kick for Lincoln. It's towards the far post where Tojo is there. It's headed away from him though. Holub collects it. Chambers has nicked it and he's got absolutely no one back. Chambers running down towards the goal. 
He's been caught up by the defenders and then puts it straight in, straight at Tor. That's a really poor attempt at a finish. And Hatton's now got injured, so that's not ideal. Augusto can come on in his place. And we're going to also make a change with Goldsmith is going to come off. 15 minutes to go. For Doy. And we're going to go five at the back. Holub throws the ball in. Bree heads it away and McAllister nods it on. Back to Sorensen at the back for Lincoln. He then goes back to the goalkeeper. And it's out to Wallace. Chance for him to come forward. Finds Diara. Can't get it past Nalo. Chambers collects it on the left. That's, that's really poor from Chambers. If I had somebody on the bench that could come on for Chambers, they would be on by now. Ball over the top towards the left-hand side. Bree clears it away, but only as far as Hol Holub, who sends it back in towards Kelly at the far post, who's hit the bar. So clears it into the air. Kamara brings it down. Lays it back to Sorensen. Back to Holub. And then Sorensen to Yarangoe. Sorensen. Kaluda gives him a trip. Chambers gets a foot in. Ball now over the top. Finds Kamaru. Puts it across the box. And is Aguirre with the catch. And we are into nine minutes of added time. We're going to bring Boakai on for Kaluda for these last few minutes. Chambers plays the ball back to Lewis. We've got Tim Turnbull's profile trying to come up there. Nalo plays it inside to Russell Denny. And then he gives it away to Yarangoe, Pierre, to Jenkins, to Kamara. And he has put that well wide. He was offside anyway. Jenkins with the free kick for Lincoln. It's towards Sorensen. It's tipped away by Izaguirre. It's put in by Holub. However, it may have been offside. It's Shearing that was apparently offside. It wasn't offside. However... In theory, the whistle should be about to go. Oh, that's why that's why Shearing was given the offside. However, it's not enough. Scunthorpe United are in the championship at the third time of asking. And we have finally made it. So there we have confirmation. Scunthorpe, Wrexham and Charlton going up to the championship. And now we've got some work to do to make sure that we can stay in the championship. I don't know what our club plans will be. I imagine they'll probably be wanting to attempt to avoid relegation. Obviously, we'll be aiming to avoid relegation. Just a quick note. Izaguero, 27 clean sheets. That is absolutely insane. We only conceded 29 goals this season, I think have a quick look at the league table 30 goals we conceded 64 goals scored that is something that we need to improve on is our goals scored however we are looking to make some adjustments to that as you can tell by the fact that we beat Bolton 5-0 recently if you have enjoyed that please do leave a like down below comment what you think we can do in the championship subscribe if you're enjoying the content and thank you very much for watching